Okay everybody, it's kind of like an unboxing video, but it's not because I already unboxed the uh, item inside once because um, I'm a very impatient person and whenever something shows up on my doorstep, the first thing I need to do is take it out and play with it and make sure you know I like it and check out the business ends and stuff like that, you know, but uh, yeah. So, this is um, from, I think they're Quick Hitch. But it's called the Cody Cushion, yeah, yeah, it's from Quick Hitch Incorporated, okay? It's made in America, so you know it's good. And uh, what it is basically is new, um, is gooseneck ball uh, adapter, yeah. Um, and what it has is it has, why am I pointing at the picture, right? There's the freaking box, yeah, so let us, let us get that. Okay. You got to grab the big black ball firmly, yeah. And lift it out. Okay. So what we have here is the gooseneck ball, yeah. And then here is the. I'll let you decide what that is considered when it sticks down and it penetrates into something on the truck. But anyway, what I have here is the. This is the. Uh, what, what do they call this? I know what I would call it, but it's inappropriate. What do they call it? Okay, this is the receiver stub, yeah. And this is for a uh, wifey works a lot, a uh, turnover ball hitch from uh, BMW on her uh, F350. So we'll have to put this on. But essentially, this drops in in place of the regular gooseneck ball, and as you can see, it has got air ride on it, yeah. Um, from what I can tell, it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's nice welds on it, looks well built to me. I think the grease fittings on it are a little chintzy. Uh, they got a lot of like slop in them. They're kind of one of those like, uh, looks like press fit crap things, I don't know. I saw one of these on a other YouTube guy. Uh, he's pretty famous guy, a uh, human. Yeah, he's good videos. You should check him out if you haven't. But um, he had the experience with these kind of grease crap things uh, on his new dump trailer. And, uh, you know, it is a shame he doesn't subscribe to me because he would have probably known to go and get the Kaufman dump trailer instead of whichever. I think he got the big text or something like that. But anyway, so I, that is the only thing on this entire product so far I see that I'm not quite fond of. Other than that, it's nice. It's made of half inch steel, you know, it's bent, it's, uh, it's name brand airbag, I think. I thought it was Firestone, oh, it's Continental, yeah, so it's name brand airbag, uh, you know, it's got some laser etching on it, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but that it says level, it's got two lines, and the premise to this is you inflate this airbag uh, through a shredder valve, yeah, right there, which it looks like they want you to uh, be able to pull the core, I don't know why, I, I, didn't read the manual. Anyway, so um, what the pictures in the book say is you inflate this airbag to no more than 60 psi, but with the load on it, the tongue, the trailer fully loaded, you would inflate this airbag until uh, this, this bar here, yeah, it gets within the two level uh, lines. That is what you want. And what it does is it gives you the up and down movement, yeah. And it stops making the truck all herky jerky and stuff, you know. And if you're transporting livestock and stuff, which is what this I think is actually really geared to, uh, it will smooth out the ride of the trailer. Um, in our case, I just don't feel like getting whiplash every freaking day when I'm running the truck and trailer. So, um, his price was right around like $500 and honestly it sounds like a lot of money but if you think about the, the shock load and everything going into the frame that it is, uh, is stopping on both the trailer and the truck it's, it's probably good uh, preventative maintenance measure you know uh, it's, uh, plus it's tax right off either way you know? but anyway so uh, when I was looking for these there was a lot of different options available but from what I can tell, this is the only option available for the gooseneck, not the fifth the gooseneck, that goes in the truck. Everything else I find goes on the trailer, and that doesn't work for me because right now we have three gooseneck trailers potentially getting another one 
Uh, so that would be four. I don't want to buy four different uh, air hitches, you know, for every trailer, and I don't feel like being bothered with uh, changing it from trailer to trailer. Like this way, it is always in the truck. When I uh, when I hitch up to the trailer, I have to just adjust the adjust the airbags, which I have something in mind for that. I'll show you later at a later date because uh, I, I ordered something and having lots of problems with the company right now so I don't know exactly how I feel about them I don't want to talk about them or anything like that but I tell you that uh, these quick hitch folks that are good guys you know they called me because uh, there was issue with my shipping address uh, they didn't want to ship it to the motherland so I had to have them ship it to my vacation home in America which is fine you know um, but anyway, they were good people, you know, it's good, looks like good sound product, uh, as usual, we will put it together here, we will put it on the truck, and I will come back in a couple, like, a couple weeks or a couple months when I have used it thoroughly, and I will tell you how I feel about it then. Another thing about it is it's got this double hinging mechanism here on the pins, which allows this to also move uh, forward and backward a little bit. I can hardly do it because I'm not trailer, but you know. Uh, it does move. I don't know if you can see a little wiggle out of it or not. But take my word for it, my friends. It does move front to back as well uh, to take the shock load of stopping and starting. And the only problem I'm really having with the goose backs right now is uh, when applying the brakes, uh, it starts to like shutter the truck basically. A lot of people are telling me it could be frame flex or it just could be because you know it's rigid mounted hitch. So this is the first thing I'm trying to do to fix it. Uh, and I will let you know. So I've been babbling now for um, six and a half minutes, which is way too freaking long. Nobody wants to listen to that. So let this, uh, let's get started and put these together. It should only take a couple minutes, my friends. I can feel it pop the 
reserve fitting back. And I don't know if it's going to last long or not. Good idea, just pop the reserve back a little bit. But we'll see, I guess. You know, it's got to be regularly. So you should just have to uh, unlatch current hitch. Is that simple? Yeah, my friends. Make sure it's latched good. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Okay. Pretty excited to try it out, to be honest with you. Is an uh, update on it soon, yeah? Thanks for watching. Drink more vodkas.